the plane. So the question says, determine the equation of a circle in each of the following sketches. All right? Please remember, our two equations are x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. When the center is at the origin. When the center is not at the origin, it will be x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. The first equation is when the center is at the origin. The second equation is when the center is in the first quadrant, second, third, or the fourth. Any one of those four quadrants. It's not, it's not at the center. Right? Are you following that? Right, so here it says P is the center of the circle in each case. So here the center is at the what? At the origin. Can you pay attention? The center is at the origin. Right? Then we are given a point on the circumference. We are given a point on the circumference. Okay, so for us to play on here, we need to know what are the coordinates here. X is zero, Y is what? Zero. Then, do we have a radius? No. So if we join the center to this point here, we end up here with our what? Our radius. Don't forget, you did circle geometry in grade level. The radius is, a dis is the distance from the center of a circle to the circumference. So, we can use the distance formula to calculate it. Okay? So, if I want to calculate the radius there, it would be r, okay, is equal to the square root, okay, of what? If I say x2 minus, one, minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, okay, then where there is x2, I would encourage you to put the coordinates at the circumference as your x2 and your y2. So I'll put 5 here, minus 0, right? Plus, here you can, oh, you can have y2, which is going to be 12. So you can have, for the minus 12, minus 12, minus 0, okay? Then if you simplify, you get 5 here. 5 squared, and then you get minus 12 squared. So in the end, you end up getting the square root of 25 plus the square root of 144. Now, 25 plus 144, that will give you 169. The square root of 169 is a 13. Okay? Let's call this one method 1. For calculating the what? The radius. Maybe you can call this one method one. Alright? Let's do method two. Just don't forget about the second diagram. What? Let me if you can test this so that I can talk about this. Okay. okay, so method two. Method two. We can just use the equation of a circle with center at the origin. Okay? So we can write x squared plus y squared, which this one maybe some of you might like more. Right? Then where there is x there, you put 5. Where there is y, you put what? Minus 12. So we end up having 5 squared plus minus 12 squared is equal to r squared. This will give you 169 equal to r squared. So r is going to be equal to 30. So you can also use that. You still get the same result. So in the end, what is the equation of this circle? The equation will be... Okay, before I carry on, are you following how I calculated the radius? I used the distance for me. I also used the equation of a circle with center at the origin. You can also use the equation of center which is not at the origin, but if you substitute A, you put 0. Substitute B, you put 0. Okay? So our answer is going to be x squared plus y squared equal to 
the radius, which is 13, so this will be 13 square. Okay, so this will be our answer. Yes. It's also correct, but if you put 169, it's not in the general form. The general form is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. All right, uh, please, please be aware that my answer is in the general form. The general form of a circle. Okay, we know that 13 squared is what? 169. But if you write your R squared as being 169, it's not in the general form. The general form we need to write is 13 squared. Alright? Okay. You want to get on? Yeah. Alright. Let's. Let's talk about this one. Okay, I can't do it. I can't do every question. This one here. Okay, let me do it. But I can't do every question. I have to be honest. There. It's not. It's not. It's not. The it's not. It's not. It's no. Okay. For this one now, can I have your attention? For this one, for number two, the center is not at the origin. Okay? The center. Okay, allow me to. Hey, can you stop that? <laughs> Okay. All right. Can I have your attention? So here, our center is along the x-axis. Right? X is 3 there. What's the value of y? Zero. So our coordinate of the center will be x is 3, y is what? Zero. Right. Right. Then, then we don't have any other point except the the, the y intercept here. Here, y in x is zero, y is minus y is minus two. Right. Now, can you allow me to cut on this? Then you we have to calculate the radius. We have to calculate the radius of the circle. Okay? So, to calculate the radius here, we can just use the distance formula. Okay? We can just use the distance what? Formula. That's one way. Or we can use the equation of, of the circle. So, allow me to use number two, that is the equation of the circle. So, if I substitute x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. What's the objective? To calculate what? Radius. Radius. To calculate the radius. So when there is x here, I have to put the 
x value at the y-intercept, which is what? Yeah. Zero. So I'll put zero here. Minus. The a, remember, is the value of x at the center, which is what? Oh. What's the value of x at the center? Three. So I'll put three there. Then the y value at the y intercept is minus 2. The y value at the center is what? Zero. Zero. So if you simplify this, you get minus 3 squared plus minus 2 squared is equal to r squared. Then from here, you get 9 plus 4 is equal to r squared. So r squared is going to be 13. What this means is that r will be the square root of what? Of 13. Are you following that? I use the equation number 2 there. The general equation of a, of a circle. With center not as the origin. But it's not the only way. You can also use the distance what? Formula. Whereby you substitute x1, y1, x2, y2. You can choose whether the coordinates of the center will be your x your x1 and your y1 or your x x2 and y2. You still come the same point. Right? So what is the equation of this circle? The equation of that circle is gonna be x minus 3 squared plus. Now you can see that the value of b is 0. So this will be plus y squared. Okay? Yes, because the b is 0. The b is 0. What is y minus 0? It's y. Are you looking at what? Yes. Right? If b is 0, it means y minus b all squared becomes y squared. Because b is 0. Then, the right hand side becomes the square root of 30 all squared. So that's the equation of the circle. Are you following? <sighs> you see, this is the general equation. X, X, A, A, Y, Y. But the B, zero. Therefore, well, what is y minus zero? It's y plus the square. You get y squared. Y minus zero is y squared. Okay? So y minus zero squared is the same as y squared. Right? Then the right hand side, the radius is square root of 13. So what is the right hand side gonna be? It's gonna be square root of 13 all squared. Which is also the same as saying 13, because r squared is equal to 13. But here I've written my equation in general what? Form. Are you following? Okay. Let's get on. Right. Let, me, let me do one more. I need to talk about something new now. So your answer is the one in black. Yes. This is the answer. This is the answer. Where, where, where are you going to get the time? Uh, are you going to create your own time now? All right. Okay, I need to carry on now. Then, but we have got a question. Yes. What's your question? The actual answer is the one in black. The what? The answer. The answer when? 
Yes. What's the pain? What's the problem with that? Because the x the x value at the center is is three. The y value is zero. So this b here is zero. Because okay, if I give you like in this case, you have got y minus b all square, right? If b is zero, this becomes y minus zero squared. What is y minus nothing? Y. Y. So this will become y squared. Y minus nothing is y. But you said b is zero. Yes, b is the y value. B is the y value at the center. And what is the y value at the center? It's zero. B is the y value. A is in, is in what? An x value at the center. All right. Let me do another one. Okay. I'll just do number five. You can do number six. So number five. Right? Can you look, please, and pay attention? Mm -hmm. Right, so we are given our center here. X is 3, Y is 2. But do we have another point that we can use to calculate the radius? The answer is yes. yes. Right? You see here where the circle touches the Y axis. Right? We can draw We can draw a line which is perpendicular. Okay. We can construct a line which is perpendicular to the y axis. Okay? Once we do that, what will be the value of y here? It will be a what? A 2. And what is the value of x here? 0. So it means the coordinates here are going to be 2, 0. Are you following that? Right? So we have our center, we have got the coordinates here. Therefore, I can write x minus a squared. I don't have the radius, so I need to calculate it. Plus y minus b squared equal to r squared. Yesterday, I told you, okay, I told you that this is an x value at the center. This is the y value at the center. Okay? Please remember that. A is an x value at the center of the circle. B is a, is a value of y at the center of the circle. Okay? Then this x here and the y are the coordinates at any other point on the circumference. Okay? Are you following? Okay, let's substitute now. So, this x here, we put the value of x here. So, that will be 0 minus a is, is going to be is going to be 3. Are you following? Then, plus y is going to be 2 and b is going to be 2. b is the value of y at the center. So we we'll put 2 there. Square is equal to r squared. If you simplify this, you get minus 3 squared plus 0. Okay? So we we'll put plus 0 is equal to r squared, this will give me 9 equal to r squared. Now, because r is a, is a distance, it's always positive. So r is going to be positive 3. Okay? Remember, r is a distance, so it's always positive. r can never be negative. Okay? So our equation now, we substitute 
back into the general equation, we just substitute the coordinates of the center and the radius. We don't put an x value there, we don't put a y value there. So our equation will be x minus a is 3, so x minus 3 squared, right? What is b? It's a 2. So that will be plus y minus 2 squared. Then what is r? It's 3. So this will be equal to 3 squared. So that will be the answer. That's the answer. Please be aware that for your June exam, analytical geometry will be the first two questions, and that's where you should easily score more marks. Please be aware of that. Ah, don't take a picture, please. I'll send you the PDF. You know it. Yes, you can use number three. Because the radius is a distance, so you can also use number three. Calculate that way. Okay? Alright, any question? You have to know. You have to know. You can come to a base together too, you don't know what you just showed me. Alright. Allow me to carry on, please. I don't I only have about five to ten minutes. Now, sometimes, right, you can get a, a high order question like that. Can I have your attention? Can I have your attention? Now, the question says, determine the equation of two possible circles of which the radius is 5, the x-intercept is 1, and the x-coordinate of the center is 3. Okay, now because the question has got an asterisk, it requires some thinking and application, which is very normal for analytical geometry. You get questions like that where you need to apply, where you also need to think. All right, so this question requires application and thinking. Okay, so we need to determine two equations, okay, such that the, the red eye for both circles is a five units. Right? We are given the x-intercept as 1. By x-intercept is 1, it means the circumference of the circle passes through a point where x is what? Is 1. And then the x-coordinate of the center is 3. Yeah. Now, since we don't have a diagram, we need to visualize it. Okay? So you draw your Cartesian plane. Right? Then, if we are going to have a, a center where x is 3, Let's say this is 1, that's 2, that's 3. It means our center might be here, it might be in the first quadrant, or it might be in the fourth quadrant. So we have got, we have got x equal to 3 here, right? So it means the center can be here as well. The center can also be down there, right? But we need to draw a circle. Please, this is just a sketch to help me. Right? So if I draw my circle, I think I've got a nice circle there. Right? Let's see. Yes. Alright. Let's say if I choose, let's please be aware that there are two possibilities. Actually three. The center can be here, can be there, can also be there. Right? But here. Let me put my center to be at this point. Right? If I put it to be at that point, it's wrong. Lucky. I'm going to try to set it down. If I can't, then I'll, I'll, I'll stop. But I'll, I'm going to try to move it. No. 
Yes. <laughs> but now, the, 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 the problem is that it's very small, so let me try to make it larger. Yeah. So that we can start smiling. Yes. Right. But the sender is not at F3, so I need to adjust it. Okay, so it's more or less like this. So we have got we have got our center here, so x is three there. We don't know what y is. Right? We don't know. Now it's possible that the center can also be there. But in this case, based on my thinking, the center can be here where y is it. Right? So there are two possibilities. First pattern or what? Fourth pattern. Then we have got there. Right? Now here x is one. Okay, x is one and y is zero to what? Zero. Okay? So what we can do based on this information, okay, let's write our equation of a circle with center not at the origin. So it's x minus a squared, and you pay attention to this, plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. Okay? Now, are we given the radius? We are given the radius. Yes. What? Five. Yes. Well, what's the question? Yes. I said there are two. There are two main possibilities. The center could be in the first quadrant or it could be in the what? Fourth quadrant. There is no way that we will get two equations unless we consider the fact that the center can be in the first or the fourth quadrant. It could also be here. Okay? But because of the fact that if we make it here, it means that the y at the center is going to be zero. For this question, it's more likely that the center will be in the first quadrant or the what? Fourth part. That's why we need to determine two equations. What makes you say that it's like? Well, it has to do with the calculation of the okay. radius. Okay, let's do the calculation of the radius. Are you following that? Yes. Alright? So, because if we move the center here, means this point here, it won't exist. Do you understand that? Yes. The circle won't pass through where x is what? Positive 1. Yeah, that's why I say, when you're answering questions on analytical geometry, you also need to use common sense. Alright? So let's head on here. X, this X here, remember, is the value of X at the circumference, which is what? Which is what? 1. So put 1 here. What is the X value at the center? It's 3. What is the Y value at the, circum at the circumference? 0. What is the value of y at the center? Wow. It's unknown, so we'll put b there. Okay? And the radius is what? Five, five squared. Actually, it's five, brother. Right? So what does this mean? It means we can calculate what? B. b. So one minus two give us minus two squared. This will give us b squared equal to 25. And here you get four plus b squared equal to 25. Take the 4 to the right, you get b squared equal to 21. So b is going to be plus or minus the square root of 21. Wait, wait. So what are our two equations? Our two equations, since we have found the two possible values for b, one is positive, the other one is what? Negative. Okay. Our two equations are x minus 2 squared plus 
Why? If I study the positive video this class, the square root of 21 squared is equal to the radius, which is 5 squared. That's the first one. The second one, it will be x minus 3 squared plus y minus the square root of 21, all squared is equal to 5 squared. Hey, 